Yeah. <laughs> Casey, they lost his mind. I mean, he's upset about something. The purple dragon probably took his Yo, what's going on, you guys? This is your boy RBG, aka the Random Black Gamer. You're my lovely wife, Johnny Lee, on the ones and twos, and this is Wayne the Reactions, the place where we react to everything we've never seen. And today we are going green for some more TMNT 2003. Last time we left off, man, it seems like we're in a Mouser arc. That's what this feels like. Like, Mousers are everywhere. They're running amok. They ran us out of our previous home. Now we're in our new home, and they intend to run us out of that damn thing. But you know how it is. You know, they always find a way to get out of that, which the Turtle Bros did. Thanks largely in part to my boy Donnie and his tech skills, which I'm digging already. You know, he's very hands-on and stuff like that. Uh, but Raph... He, he just got to be that abrasive, like that crazy brother that just attacks and destroys every freaking thing. And we needed a mouser, you know, but Ralph ain't trying to hear none of that. You know, he probably more of a daddy's little boy than Leo, because I feel like he probably was like, man, my my dad, he didn't already got attacked by these things too many times. So I got to go ahead and attack him. But, you know, um, we got a chance to see April and Baxter Stockman, who we already knew was the culprit in creating these things. And uh, apparently he's already in cahoots with Shredder, which hopefully they do kind of show that, show how that actual partnership began. Mm -hmm. And what you know. it's really all about. Right. Shredder got them connections that he got money like that. He's just big timing. What's going on? Why he got all these different people working for him? He already got the purple dragons under his thumb or under his claw. So many different things, man. Um, it seemed like Baxter Stoppin was going to put an end to April's contract by killing her with his mousers, mm -hmm. but she ended up uh, escaping under the tunnel and stuff like that. And all the while, the turtles were trying to track down the mouser that they uh, allegedly reprogrammed, you know, or so they thought. It, 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 you know, this thing, it was following orders from Baxter Stockman, too, by some kind of override system, and they ended up saving April. So, this is our introduction to April in this one. She seems to have a hip style to her. Mm -hmm. Looks very early 2000s, you know, which the era that this show was released in. Looked like she could be Pink Sister, Hot Red, or Hot Pink. You know what I'm saying? Like, she gonna come out with her own R&B album before she switch over to rock. Oh no. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, I don't have anything else to add to that. We're liking what we see so far. So, let's go ahead and jump into this next episode, man. This is going to be Attack of the Mausers, which is a surprising title since we've already been uh, getting attacked by Mausers. But we'll see how this works, man. Let's do this. They were attacked by even more killer robots. Yeah. Oh, and we also managed to perform our very first ninja rescue. This is the closest any of us have ever been to a human being. How you doing? And it raises one very Come on, big you just question. beat the hell out of some human beings the other day. Right? Like, what are we talking about? I guess we don't consider the purple um, dragons human beings. Those are more like punks. Yeah. Squirtles! Turtles fighting robots? Did I fall asleep watching TV again? Yep. That was the weirdest thing I've ever seen! <laughs> he already ready to fuck so I hope not. Please don't do that! <laughs> I almost jumped out of my shell! I'm asleep, I'm asleep, I'm asleep, I'm asleep. This isn't going very well. Hey, come on! We don't have much practice talking to humans. It's gonna take a little time. Hey, you. What? What do you know about those Mouser robot things? Well, first I thought they were for cleaning up the city's rat problem. But then I got suspicious when Dr. Stockman said, Oh no, I'm talking to it. What? I'm talking to it. To you! Okay, April. You are talking to a giant three-fingered turtle. <laughs> The only logical explanation is that you're dreaming. Perhaps you are ready to answer some questions. Uh -oh. <laughs> you're, you're a... <sighs> yeah. After these messages. Now what do we do? Let's nudge her. I'll snap her out of it. No. Oh. Somebody get me when she wakes up. 
That's what he made them damn things for. What is that? Ugh, oh, already terrorizing the banks. What in the world? They can't even see what it is? Oh, I was gonna say. <laughs> These security measures are pitiful. An insult. Nothing can stand in the way of my consummate genius. You say that, dude. You know it ain't nothing to get a black person caught up in something. Oh, that money gone. Assets and liabilities, boy. So, you okay now? Yes, thanks. I've decided this is either a very long dream that I keep not waking up from, or it's the weirdest thing that ever happened to me. Young woman, we have something most important to discuss. What? We have never revealed ourselves to the upper world. You have placed us all in great danger. She was in trouble and we helped her. Yeah, aren't you always teaching us to try to do the right thing? As you grow older, you will learn there are many ways to do the right thing. Right. But there is no going back. But I told you to bring this caring back to our lair. Mm -hmm. Your mercy. Oh, I would never tell anybody. I mean, <laughs> who would believe me? She's got a point. Yeah, we're unbelievable. Gee, where's your off switch? If I'm keeping your secret, what exactly is it? Who are you people? Uh, turtles? Uh, whatever. I have memories. Memories of when I used to be what you might call normal. A blind man was crossing the street when he was almost run down by a large truck. Metal canister bounced out of the back. Releasing a glowing ooze which covered their bodies. I took pity, gathering them up in a coffee can. Yeah, scoop them up. Best part of waking up is putting them in a coffee can cup. Oh, you can tell this, Mikey. I awoke to find the floor had doubled in size. Hey. The ooze had affected their growth. It changed me also, making me larger and more intelligent. I was amazed by their dexterity. But even so, <laughs> I was not prepared for what happened one day. Yeah, look at me, look at me. Oh, shit. Splinter? They actually spoke my name. Soon they all were speaking. Awesome! My <laughs> I like how you can still tell this thing was them apart. Intelligence followed soon after. Realizing that the world above is really the screen like y'all see this shit. Place, I began teaching them ninjutsu, the secret arts of strength and power, and all that I knew of this world. From a battered book on Renaissance art that I fished out of the storm drain, I chose names for each of them. Leonardo. Hey. Donatello. Raphael. Damn. <laughs> Michelangelo. Together, they are... The Ninja Brother Teenagers. Mutants. Like that, we all yell at once. First rule, ignore my... How did you know martial arts? That is a story for another time. Look at this! And the police are completely baffled by this daring bank robbery boldly executed in broad daylight. If anyone has any information, the police urge you to call Damn the Crime Stoppers hotline. Anybody want to take a wild guess what did this? What do you know about this Stockman guy? He's a genius. He's also nuts. I used to work for him. But when I got suspicious, he turned the mousers on me. Luckily, I ran into you guys. He destroyed our old lair. Must have been one of his mouser test runs. Stocktronics is rigged with the latest upcoming security tech. Allow me to introduce our very own secret weapon, the Techno Turtle himself, Donatello. Right, Gearhead Donny, baby. Donatello. <laughs> we go, please. 
He just ready to ruin For everything. Real. I cannot stand this Raphael so this far. This man has roid rage up the gills. Excellent. Excellent. The world as they yeah, I bet freaking Shredder friend come take all that from me. Of course. Uh, what? Dr. Stuckman, make it quick. I'm very busy. Really? I'm contacting you to verify that you are fulfilling your end of our bargain. I've advanced the mouses to the next stage, and they are securing the funds from the banks as you requested. Can you grasp that simple concept? Boy, you talk not reckless. Too much, Dr. Stockman. The price for failure would be quite extreme. <laughs> Imbecile. Hey, I admire his tenacity and would to clap back at right, this Right, I will say I kind of can say I like this Dr. Stockboy. <laughs> Dr. Stockboy. I like him better than the other versions we've seen so far. Yep. Pick it. I'm talking about, I saw that in Assassin's Creed one time. Let's go. Intervals, so you've got to keep moving. We'll be right back. Good luck. After these messages. Hey, these guys are good. This is too quiet. Uh, guys, my turtle sense is tingling. Intruders, <laughs> here to see you why you'll leave here with nothing. Well, I don't know what happened to the recording in this lives. What on earth are you? Hmm. I suppose I'll have to dissect you to find out. Okay, right Spin Rui! Really. There you go, reflect it back at him, baby. Oh! Mm -hmm. Shit, Nelly don't be playing up in this, I see. Pew 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 pew. Right? Mikey! Slingshot! <laughs> what the fuck is that his dick? Oh was... Your reign of terror is over, Stockman! You been practicing that? You like it? Yeah! <laughs> Where are you? There with me. So yeah, man, I've been doing a little something song. You're alive! And kicking. I've got enough evidence to put you away for years, Dr. Stockman. See, always pressing something. Ha! Too late! I recall the mouse report from their latest mission. <laughs> They'll be here any second. They'll tear you to pieces. April. Now's the time. Now's the hour. <laughs> I knew he was going to say that. You should never have matched wits with me. He's getting away! Hey, y'all well, let him. Right! Big of problems. At least we'll go out fighting. Actually, I don't want to go out at all! It's not working! You're gonna eat y'all up like them, um, discontinued turtle it's apple pies. Fun, guys. Even me, Raph? Even you, Mikey. Special. Aw. He does love me. I still start smashing. Never right. seen anything like that. <laughs> Please, yeah. guys, guys, I wasn't able to shut them down. Oh, just... They look pretty shut down to me. Dude, they're gonna self-destruct. The only way I could stop them was by initiating an overload sequence. The I mean, fuck out of here! Let's get out of here! <laughs> Wait, 2012, Donnie would have a fit. He would. <laughs> I've got them! I've got them all! Oh. You probably got the schematics. You. What was this target call? What do you want, hun? How are Trouble, Dr. Stockman? Remember Bruce Trouble. Lee, uh. No, no! From the 2012 version? Exactly as I planned. Yeah. Yeah, that's this version. Perhaps you'd like to explain this plan. To the master. No, you don't. Let me go, you brainless, muscle-bound idiot! Let me go! Let me go! Hell no! What will you do now, Miss O'Neill? You are most definitely out of a job. I'm 
Not exactly sure. We'll help you get back on your feet. You guys, you've all been, well, great. And by guys, oh, she put on a yellow I shirt. guess I mean four I doubt it. green talking turtles and a giant talking rat. It's more of the 80s. Here's to the new team! Well, every other April had on yellow. I mean, it depends. It's like Peter so Laird didn't like the 80s see, cartoon. The whole thing was simply a... Um, well, 2012 April had on yellow. With your oh, damn, Peter Laird Laird had April. You didn't have anything to do with those. I'll be back thing. at work. Oh, Monday morning. You must pay the price for failure. Why didn't he like Samurai Jack, brother? What's I gonna do to my boy? Turn into a flower. Where are you taking me? Take you to my guest room. Who is this? Find somebody that was fine. Little Kano from Mortal Kombat. Remaining image the Mouser optics recorded. Hey, these are the ones responsible. What sense did that mean? No! It's like I just did that, nigga. I did all that. I had to use his claw in this episode. <laughs> That's all he wanted to do was just show off his claw. But guys, that was episode three, man. Um, Attack of the Mousers. Pretty good episode. Uh, if you guys notice, we've probably been having a couple of technical issues right there because, you know, the recording software tends to get the hot. recording software, the lights. Right, yeah. I don't have my LED lights. And I just ordered a new set, but... Um, yeah, that was uh, pretty good. It seems like that's going to be the ending chapter to that arc in particular. And now we're probably going to start seeing more wacky and crazy adventures. Some that we're familiar with and some that we're not. Because, you know, it's always important to remind ourselves that this is taking a lot from the Mirage Studios or the Mirage uh, comic books and stuff. So I can expect to see some stuff that I haven't really seen anywhere else other than, you know, just the toys which the 2012 series already has been doing a lot of so we'll see how this series does uh from what i heard there had there was a lot of arm holding on behalf of the studio heads over at fox on how much stuff they could adapt from the comics because you know the comics is very dark and there's only so much you can do on a fucking syndicated station aimed towards kids so you know, like right now, they're doing a good job, you know, of just kind of keeping certain serious aspects of it. But I am a bit concerned how much they can do, how many tropes they're going to be doing in terms of, you know, utilizing the same frames of animation, uh, using props and stuff instead of their actual weapons. Uh, if they're going to use it on people or not, you know, stuff like that. I'm kind of concerned about, you know, but... I've enjoyed it so far. I'll give this episode an A plus as well. Yeah, I'll give it an A plus. It was a good one. Yeah, um, it seems like you really hate Raph up in this. I know Raph is always Raph, but I cannot. Like, he yeah. is so annoying in this one so far. Yeah, he's very gung ho up in this. Like, he just hoorah! I gotta go do what I need to do. I'm ready to pound some heads. And fight the Shredder, which I got a feeling when they first encounter the Shredder, it's going to be on top of the roof. Because that's where Shredder encounters everybody on top of the roof. And he's going to whoop their ass. Probably. For real. But anyways, man, we're going to go ahead and jump to this next episode, which is titled Meet Casey Jones. So meet him. Let's go ahead and see what he's talking about. I mean, he's going to meet his whole family. He's going to introduce everybody to the cookout and stuff. We're going to be playing grass hockey. Uh, so let's go ahead and do this, man. Damn. Got to get the boxes. Nice fall, Raphael. Just come on back if you want some more of that. He's probably going to get frustrated. <sighs> tired of this get shit. Back, Bro, I know you got to go. Hey. Good reverse punch. Too fast. Nice roundhouse kick too, Raph. Whoa. Not a bad dragon punch either, but you're just a little too slow. Ah. Uh. Too slow. Stop hitting yourself. Damn. Watch out. You 
think you're better than me? <laughs> Hell yeah. Do you? I'm the most popular turtle, of course. I sell more. You're just too cocky. Winner and steel champion, Michelangelo. What is he doing with that pipe? No. Bro? Raphael, have you lost your mind? You okay, Mikey? Just lost your what were you thinking, Raph? Boy, <laughs> zero <laughs> points, oh, F minus so for Raphael. Rage is he is horrible. I destroy you from within, Raphael. A true warrior finds balance. I have tried to channel your anger. But still more That's remains. I'll I whoop your I, ass if I have to. I, 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 I gotta get some air. I mean, I'm about to get this nigga the fade he deserved, man. Hold me back. There you go on the roof. What is wrong with me? I wonder if that's really how it is for people with anger issues. Probably. Like, they really don't want to hurt anybody, but they just cannot seem to help themselves. Right. Shit, Casey working on them guns. Surf and turf, baby. Let's go. I guess they had a negative effect on this childhood. Uh, is that Young Hun? Somebody's got to stop those purple dragons. Right, they sold the jacket to my tracksuit. Now all I got left is the pants. And this hockey mask that I got Somebody's off Craigslist. Somebody's got to make them pay. Now all hey. Casey Jones is on the job. I like how they introduced Casey Jones a lot sooner. Yeah. This show doesn't waste any time. I, I gotta give him credit. Mm -hmm. Look at this nigga. He ready to get his creep on. What that ugly Paul Phoenix wanna be at? Right. What? Nothing like a good workout. <laughs> Look at Virgil Hopkins. Okay. Yes. If we all corner her in an alley, she'll surely want to have sex with us, guys. Good talk. These guys picked the wrong night to tip me off. Hey, I got that reference. Who the hell, young dude from uh, Guardians right. of the Galaxy? Looks like this is gonna be good. Oh, Mary Poppins, y'all! Oh, shit. I'm putting you punks out of business permanently! Hell yeah. That guy's out of control. You think? Hey! Easy there, cowboy. They're down. You stopped them. You did good. Now take it easy. Put your hands out, man. Let's get out of here. Yeah, like oh, the way you was gonna take it easy away. on uh, Michelangelo, Stay your own brother. Damn! Yeah, get it. Go get your purse and get on somewhere. Sorry about all this. Here's no. your purse, man. Keep away from me, you you lizard thing. Keep away. <laughs> lizard thing. It's like right, it's New York. I know you done seen lizard things before. No, Spider Man ain't came out yet. No, it's like Dr. Kirk Connors in the mutate. Damn. You stolen your last purse, dog friend. Unbelievable. <laughs> Told you to cool it, pal. Yeah, cool it, and I told you to stay out of my way. But since your ears don't seem to be working, I'm gonna have to get my point across a whole nother way. Go ahead and do it. For real. Hey oh shit. <sighs> Almost had it. Gotta be quicker than that. It will come with Donatello. If you build it, we will ride. <laughs> In turtle style! Hell yeah, we're yeah, gonna sell uh, merchandise to too, man. Aw, hang this up someplace nice. Look, I think you're trying to do the right thing, but you're going about it all wrong. You gotta get control of yourself. Look, freak boy, if you're protecting these purple dragon scum, then you're in my way, and you're going down to baseball's in season. And so are you, mm -hmm. freak Hell yeah. That man got that baseball. The ball. Wayne Gretzky on steroids, anyone? Let's go. Slow down. What's this wall made of? Something good, apparently. Huh? All right, tough guy. Let's dance. Really? Wow. Okay. Of course. 
Yeah, we need another oh, intro. Is that an ancient door? It's a door of some kind. Be careful. Why are we whispering? <laughs> right. <laughs> like somebody in the other room? It's a hotel door? That's some stack. <laughs> Don't look at me, my brother. Remember, he who smelt it, dealt it. <laughs> Where's the power source for this room? I don't see any wires. Oh, shit. Understand that, believe me. But what if you grab the wrong guy? What if you go too far? Get yourself in real trouble. Got about face, man. I got my reasons for doing what I do, and they got nothing to do with you. <laughs> All you want to do is fight. Let's fight. Yeah. <laughs> Hasty lost his damn mind. I mean, he's upset about something. The purple dragon probably took his girl. Next thing you know, he's gonna pull out a Batman bracket. And took his girl and pulled his mama's wig off. What? What am I doing? We're on the same side. You know, you're right. You show me the error of my ways. No. Not. I don't even blame Casey because you know what? That's exactly what, what he was going to do to Mikey, so get his ass. Casey said, I just got one more reference to fulfill. The weird glowing chamber brings us up to street level? That's cool. I learned more and more about that new layer. Abandoned for many, many years. Great space, but it needs something. Hmm. Bathtub? No. Kitchenette? No. Uh -uh. I know! A souped up battle shell would be perfect right here! No, no, right here is the perfect spot to keep souped up battle shell! No, no, here! Damn! Wait, he been giving rap the business! Yeah. Yeah. Boy, you want a rematch? Check me out Friday night, Central Park! Adios, loser! <laughs> Bro, why do you have so much patience against this nigga with your brothers? They don't do I anything to make you angry. Brother. This guy is trash. It's, it's that guy, the one with the hockey mask. He's been fighting with some weirdo in a bug costume. A bug costume. On Friday night. I want that hockey mask wearing vigilante's head on a plate. It's time we started messing with him. Okay. Welcome home, Raph. What was your antennas when I was in my you ass? Well, you got the shell kicked out of you. Yeah, it's a long story. But first, I... I, I wanted to apologize. <gasps> Mikey, I'm sorry right? I got so out of control earlier. Guys, I'm really sorry. Hey, don't sweat it, bro. All right. Who are you? And what have you done with right. brother Raphael? Let's just say I had a chance to think about the way I've been acting. Hell yeah, you got your ass whooped. Dinner. <laughs> dinner? Now you're talking my language. <laughs> what language is that, Mikey? Nitwit? Oh, oh God. God. Listen to the funny mutant. I don't know, Raph. We should probably tell Master Splinter and have him stop us from going topside. We have to find that vigilante whack bag and stop him for his own good. He's like Splinter, don't guy. know. Just a little right. misguided. Splinter is watching from the shadows within the shadows. Yeah, I done caught your ass. Busted. How many times have I told you not to sneak up to the surface? This month? 512. Actually, mm. it is dangerous for you to go about openly in the world above. You cannot simply walk amongst the humans. They will not accept who and what you are. It is as the great sage and warrior Kenji Hashimura once said, Why walk when you can ride? Hey, you know again? what you trying to say, man? Take the truck. Okay, look at Spino. Look at her. This shit, that was good. Okay. You ain't seen nothing yet. Let's roll. Hell yeah, let's get it, baby. We got the reinforced bumpers, got seat belts, buttons to press, thrusters. There he is. Glory, Don, keep up with him. You go get him, Raph. I picked up something special for you. It's in the back. What's there? A motorcycle. Uh oh. Like it, I call it 
the shell cycle. Shell cycle. Let me tell them you are the turtle. <laughs> Let's go. Let's punch it, baby. Michael Mice from Mars ain't got shit on you, Ralph. You gotta go ahead and come through with this one. Whoop his ass. They finna get you. There you go. Yeah, kill him. Oh, he had <laughs> oh I like the little Kira reference. I can't believe I just got my butt kicked by some giant frog. Two. What a look. I'm no fan of the purple dragons either. I'll help you take them down, but we gotta exercise just a little restraint. Save it. Ugh, you don't know what you're talking about. Try me. Well, a long time ago when I was a kid, I used to be a sus and blue model. Shaking my dad down for protection money. They were purple dragons. We didn't pay. They torched our store. You tell your old man, punk. Next time, pay up or else. <laughs> just be careful. Your anger can take you down. Make you act just like them. My father once told me a true warrior finds balance in all things. There you balance, go. Huh? Well, you know, as much balance as a couple of hot headed whack bags like us can manage. Go back. Here we go. We gotta fight the streets of rage, NPCs. Go too far. Get myself any trouble? Can't wait something like this. Something like Car <laughs> The fuck going on? Tears? Brothers actually. Like how they're so short. I don't like oh, that. Really? That's how they usually are though, they're shorts. Casey is always tall. tall. You always love short characters. I mean, they're teenagers. So they're the small. teenagers I was around was not that short. That's why I was okay with the 2014 turn. I know somebody probably try to shoot me if they hear me say that, but oh well. Right? The fuck? Bro, it's all I got. Gotta hold up them toes too, boy. They only be eight. I was gonna say, um, well, it'd be nine. No, it would be more than that. It'd be twelve. It'd be twelve. Uh -oh. I'm starting to see what you're all about. What do you mean about balance? Self control? Nah, I mean that you're a green mutant freak. <laughs> freak? But I like ya. Bitch. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's what they asked this earth. Go that's ahead. Right. No, no, he's your brother. Absolutely your brother. <laughs> <laughs> Sore by the morning, man. But guys, that was episode four. Meet Casey Jones. It's almost like one of those damn yeah, I'm a Mac and I'm a PC commercials, where um, you know, Ralph, he's trying to be the Mac. But Casey is the superior PC. You know, he's on that master race shit. And he is helping on destroying the purple dragons because they oh, tried man. to destroy his daddy. They burnt down his daddy's coffee shop. And now he got to put his damn dreams of being a Hollywood actor on a back burner. You know what I'm saying? He could have been the next Chris Evans. He could have had Chris Evans voice in him, if you get that reference. Um, I'm liking this Casey Jones. You know, he's very ruthless. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it seems like we're walking down memory lane, like with certain elements that we've already seen in the first live action movie where Ralph comes across Casey and they fight and stuff. They don't agree, especially Ralph, who's trying to take the lessons that Splinter has given him, you know, of having a calm, collective mind as opposed to just a rage filled when And now he's having to undergo this lesson while, you know, getting that back you know in the form of casey jones so that was very good also i think i don't know if i'm right on this but i know four kids they use a lot of the same talents but is this guy voicing casey the same guy that voiced kid muscle from ultimate muscle you know what i'm saying i don't know it sounds like him i recognize I that voice that specifically is. yeah it's like a lot of these guys they came from like 
I don't know, these are like Canadian talents mixed with American talents. Like, I think the guy that voices uh, Donatello voices Scanlan from um, The Legend of Vox Machina. Hmm. You know, uh, Sam Regal, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know the other ones, but I do hear like familiar voices. It's up with New York accents, with Brooklyn accents and stuff. But uh, what did you think about this episode? I thought it was pretty good. It was. Like, mm-hmm. it's... It's growing on us more and more, man. Yeah, it, it is. Um, you know, now that I have watched four episodes, I will say to um, four-year-old me, four-year-old me still would have hated this. Um, but yeah, me now, uh, almost twenty years later, it's definitely not as bad. Not not as bad as I thought it would be. Um, just because I, I enjoy Ninja Turtles now more than I ever did at, when I was a kid, you know. Right. But this is pretty good, you know. It's once you get it's it's not it's not even that it's animated badly. It's just a you know it's a product of the time. You know? It's a product of its time. And, you can kind of notice some of the cliches, like the uh, the enemies. They're kind of leaning more towards that '90s aesthetic, you know, with the that weird complete hairstyles. Goof enemy like so unrealistic, you know. Right. Um, but. At the same time, it's like you know who the bad guys are in these mm-hmm. types of cartoons because they have some ridiculous hair, some ridiculous tattoos on their face, some outfit that makes no sense, chains on their belts. You know that's the villain. Um, but you know, at least it's easy to identify the villain. It is. You know. And I do, I will say, even though that was on the last episode, I do appreciate how Baxter Stockton was actually standing up for himself. He was calling them all kind of idiots and stupid. Right. And, imbeciles and stuff you know he wasn't cowering in fear like he's usual. gonna be the rebellious type you know i do wonder what they did to him i do too i can't wait to see that you know see how things are con- continued if they're gonna have a uh, you know keep things like in mind in terms of continuity and stuff that's already been established as we progress like i say guys it seems like we're moving at a breakneck speed with certain elements. I enjoy elements. it. I, I'm glad. Like, establish it and then establish some major conflict that's going to take us through several episodes, you know? Right. Go ahead and establish April, Casey, Baxter, Stockman, and Shredder, Splinter, everybody, you know? Establish all that so we can get that out of the way and then establish a conflict and now you have everybody there to help you resolve the conflict i I can appreciate that yeah versus like the 2012 when it was like a or it you know it's still going it's it's like uh we meet people as we go you know who is the new person of the 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 episode you know a new episode new person we meet and you know um but yeah it's not so bad at first i was like you know what he can watch it by himself but now I'm like, no, nah, I'm gonna keep watching. Yeah, she always has that mentality where she just come in not too excited about stuff, but we get a chance to see that frown turn into, you know, uh, enthusiastic smile for a change. <laughs> so uh, yeah, man. Um, shout outs to you guys, the turtle community. You know, like even though we're divided, we're trying to unify it. You know, if you. Twiddle. If you've been watching us from the start, we've been enjoying everything from Rise of the TMNT to 2012 TMNT. Not sure if we'll ever get around to other ones like um, we're definitely not going to watch Next Mutation. What uh, is that? That's the bad live action version. We don't talk about that. The third movie? No, it's the bad live action uh, show. There's a live action show. Yeah. It's supposed to be in the same continuity as the movies, too, because okay. they use the same. Um, well, I didn't layer. know that existed. I didn't. I don't know how many types of Ninja Turtles there are. Yeah, it's like the turtles have withstood the test of time. I think the next mutation TV show almost killed the brand. You know, that's when they were like losing popularity. And then this came revitalized that. And then they had like a three year hiatus before Nickelodeon bought the rights to the uh, TMNT and came out with the 2012 version. So, uh, yeah, man. It's a good time to be a Turtle fan. Can't wait to see that movie. You know what I'm saying? Is that going to be in theaters? Yeah, it should be. When does that come out? I'm not quite Maybe sure. Soon, apparently not. No. Uh, I mean, they just showed the teaser trailer, so it'll probably oh. be a while. Well. 
But yeah, guys, uh, if there's anything we may have missed or gotten missed or screwed, by all means, provide the proper context in the comment section below. And if there's anything that you like about these episodes, man, how you liking Casey Jones, man? Does it feel good to have this version of Casey in there? He's like a mix of 80s Casey, except he has more screen time because 80s Casey didn't get little or anything. You know, they just showed him like a couple times and he just vanished. But yeah. But this is your boy RBG, my girl Johnny Lee on the ones and twos. We intend reactions. We'll catch you guys on the next reaction too. TMNT 2003. Peace.